Before the start of this video, I would just like to say a huge thank you to all my supporters across all platforms. Without your support, videos like the one you're about to watch would never happen. So huge thanks to each and every one of you. Okay, before I start, I just wanted to say that I'm trying really hard, like the title suggests, to be sensible. Too often, I set myself really high expectations and targets to achieve. That drives me to the point of burnout in order to try and meet them. Then, in typical in Will's fashion, I tell myself that I failed. But this time, my body has started to rebel, so I start, decided to stop and take things a little bit more slowly and act sensible for once. My name's In Wills, and welcome to the In Crowd. I'm the first one to admit that and to acknowledge that you don't get anywhere in this life without hard work. Now, about six months ago, I started to push myself with my streaming schedule. The weekend schedule was already very well planned out. Saturday was um, included Elder Scrolls Online, followed by Mithras, which is an RPG, a role-playing game. And then Sunday was Elder Scrolls Online again. And I managed to maintain those three sessions, um, only missing it then when I was either poorly or I had um, work commitments. However, the same was not true to streams during the week. And I would give a variety of excuses why I wasn't actually streaming on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, which was pretty bad. It was after the my community or the community that supports me so very kindly started to mention that they quite enjoyed seeing me streaming through the week that I decided to change. And since that point, I've not only been streaming Saturday and Sunday, but also Monday and Tuesday evening, Thursday and Friday evening. Wednesday, I have a day off streaming, mainly to produce content like this. Now, I must admit, streaming a lot more often was definitely supporting me, not only my gameplay, but also in my skills and tech, understanding the tech associated with streaming itself. I was able to engage in a much wider game base. And as I got into other systems and different games, I started to enjoy that. And my presence on camera like this, I think, improved greatly, as well as my knowledge about all the technical side of streaming. Yep, high, high expectations, and I reached for them and got it, and yeah, things were going great. And I thought, right, let's duplicate this in another area of my content creation, and I thought, let's start producing more content. Now, I've been on Twitter, would you believe, since it actually started. Yeah, I was the first cohort of tweeters. Back then, it was you would tweet, tweet about what you were doing. So you would say things like, I'm going to the shops, I'm watching telly, I'm eating food, that sort of thing. And it was really hard to justify the real purpose of tweeting to people who were not aware of it. There were even groups of people who were saying that tweeting was dangerous and security risk because if I typed that I was away from my house, then I could be burgled, etc. Now, Twitter has certainly evolved a lot since those initial days, and it's seen now very much as a viable platform to post content to, including their new fleets that are like mini videos, a bit like Instagram stories. But for me, I wanted to try something different. 
And so I turned my attention to Instagram. Now, despite having cameras, I'm not a great photographer at all. I do like snapping images, especially on clouds. And I like being creative with imagery and like I really enjoy making short videos as well as long videos. And these short videos led me to Instagram Reels. Now, I was still creating the long videos, but there appeared to be a higher demand for shorter content, more specific content. And with YouTube bringing out their shorts videos as well, and their Instagram with a 30 second reels, I thought, right, okay, then let's start tapping into that market and producing content for that area of social media. So with that in mind, I set up my plan and my plan was to post to Instagram in some form three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday at eight, six o'clock GMT time. And then in addition to that, I would also post anything that, you know, came up that I thought was interesting or I snapped a, a picture that just needed to be shared. And then that was it. And they would sort of like constitute Instagram post in between. And, and of course, I would use stories, Instagram stories, a bit like Twitter and sort of like put my comments in there, say what I'm doing and then share them to Twitter. So hopefully to drive traffic to my Instagram um, account. Now I'm currently on vacation from my full time job. I've taken annual leave and my plan was to create, create and then to create some more. I wanted to maintain the high standard of production that I hopefully do. I wanted to really achieve that, but I wanted to get as much content done um, over my time when I'm not at work. So I would have the next few months all set up. However, it was not meant to be. Now, I always start off the vacation or the annual leave with great expectations. And I've been on annual leave roughly for about two and a half weeks now. And I looked at my content calendar that I set up and I realized that these three days a week posting, I had just, I've worked so hard, I really have. And yet I was only had enough content produced to the end of August. And then that was it. I hadn't even started on September and yet I felt that I had worked so hard. It was also I'm still recovering from the vaccine jabs. And if you want more information about that, then go and see my personal update video. And to cap it all, my facial neuralgia started up again. Now, there are a number of conditions that can start it. And really and truly, there's no established reason. But one of the things that I actually find is that generally, if I'm tired or my general level of tiredness is reduced, then it can start. And then it could be a real pain, literally a real pain. So... For me, it was basically a wake up call saying, hang on a minute in Wills, you are doing too much. And yesterday while I was streaming and commented that I didn't feel 100 percent, but couldn't quite put my finger on what was wrong. And yeah, today I realized I think I've been pushing myself too hard over the last two weeks and a half weeks. Yeah, maybe a little bit too late. Now, don't worry, I'm not giving up content creation or I'm not finishing streaming or anything like that. I just think I need to rein it in a, a bit. So I've realized that my initial social media market campaign to give it a rather um, official word of three contents, three posts a week was perhaps, well, it's too high. I totally acknowledge that. So I'm going to drop it down to two posts a week on Tuesday and Thursday at six o'clock in the evening. Any other random images or thoughts will be posted on an ad hoc basis. And immediately doing this, I managed to change 
um, my delivery of the content that was planned to be um, shared to include not only the whole of August, but September as well, which I must admit was a really nice feeling. So in typical in Will's fashion, my first response to this change was to blame myself. I felt guilty about it. I also felt a little bit disappointed that I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't meet those high expectations. And at the moment, I'm trying to say to myself that I just got it wrong and I'm reassessing what I need to do. I've been working really hard behind the scenes, behind the content creation and trying to develop a system that can ensure that I maintain that consistency and try and get used to new programs that I'm looking at and to try to decide which one works best with my workflow and which ones I should keep. I'm also trying to um, use all the free options for the programs I'm using. And that's because I really want to share my process with you um, if you find it interesting. And then hopefully you can then adapt possibly aspects of my workflow to help you. And yeah, I will be making some videos on this in the future. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and press that bell button. Yeah, that'll be fantastic. I always think it's really important to acknowledge that we are all different and we have different, a varying amount of time and energy to produce content. I often fall into the trap of watching people on YouTube who are literally full time content providers or producers. And I listen to their publishing schedules that they publish twice a day right the way through the whole month. And what I think I've been trying to do is trying to achieve that despite not being the same as them. I can't possibly achieve that level of content creation and sharing because I have too many other commitments like a full time job and commitments on my time and energy. And it's take me in typical in Will's fashion. I wonder how many times I've said in typical in Will's, in Will's fashion this video. I, I look back on it now and I acknowledge that now. And it's maybe a little bit too late. But yes, I, I see I'm different and I need to do things a different way or more essentially my way. So what have I learned from this experience? Well, we all have different commitments. And we should aspire to achieve what is manageable within those commitments. I think it's, and I didn't do this, but I think it's probably better to start off with a smaller target and then work up. I'm often talking to people who are thinking about streaming and they say about streaming three times, four times or a week or whatever. And I often say to them, right, pick a, a two days a week or one day a week get into that consistency and then increase it. And then you'll have a, a, a much more understanding of what it takes. So I do think it's better to um, go for sl slightly lower expectations and then move up rather than going for high expectations and then feel that you're failing when you haven't achieved it. I also think that no matter what and targets we set ourselves, we should be sensible and realistic about them and be prepared to reassess and change if needed. Okay, so that's me all done and dusted for this video. I hope you've enjoyed listening, watching or reading it. Hope you enjoy my content. If you do, then please subscribe and come back again. And yeah, more content relating to how I organize myself on its way very soon. So do look out for that. Okay, have fun, stay safe, stay healthy, but most importantly, stay positive. See you all later. Bye.